Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I wanted to remind you guys that we're going to be starting that gardening series really soon, and it sounds like River is going to be in a lot of the live streams with me, which makes me think if you have kids in your family that you would like to get engaged with gardening, you know, having you guys working on your end, us working on our end during the live streams, you know, it could be that much more engagement for people of all ages. Uh, what I wanted to do is I, I got my seeds from Burning Hearth Homestead here. Uh, if you guys want to get your own packet of seeds, they can send you the exact same packet of seeds that uh, I have right here. Uh, all you have to do is just go down to the link in the description below, uh, request your seed packet. Uh, they're not for sale, but they do uh, they do uh, accept donations, and I would highly recommend that you make a donation of about $20 to help compensate them for the seeds, the cost of postage, and all that kind of stuff. So let's see what we have here. Do you want to uh, take some of these out and give them to me? Uh, I'm going to put a complete list down in the description below of everything that we're going to be growing, but I'll read it off here. here uh, we've got a packet of Boston Pickling Cucumbers. So this is one of the seed varieties that we're going to be working with. What else? Can you give me another one? Okay, and this one right here. We've got a red uh, branch line tomato. Little tomato seeds there. Uh, just the size of these tomato seeds makes me think that maybe this is a smaller tomato, because uh, at least in my experience, the larger the tomato seed, the larger the tomato variety. So maybe this is a small tomato. What else we got? Uh, we have all American parsnip. Uh, this is an interesting one because parsnip comes from a family of plants which includes uh, poison hemlock. <laughs> so uh, you know, this is an interesting one to experiment with. It's also related to carrots. I think dill might be in that family as well. Um, so that would be an interesting one. So a parsnip is essentially a big white carrot. It has kind of a kind of a rooty flavor, an earthy flavor. Not quite as sweet as a, uh, a carrot, at least not in my experience. Uh, tender sweet carrots. Okay, so here's classic tender sweet carrots we're going to be growing also. You like carrots, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see, what else do we have here? Purple, uh, purple top rutabagas. These seeds look a lot like basil seeds to me. Purple top rutabagas. And again, you can get all these exact same varieties sent to you. Again, description uh, below has a link. Go over there, just make a request. Say, hey, I'd like to get the, the Praxis pack of seeds, and they will send them to you. And if you can possibly make a donation, it'll help uh, you know, make ends meet over on their end. But they're a charitable organization. They're happy to send them out either way to you. Uh, long purple eggplant. Eggplants are actually related to uh, tomatoes and the seeds. You can kind of tell from the seeds that the, uh, they're, uh, they're relatives. They're both in the nightshade family. What else do we got here? Uh, ooh, <laughs> the the uh, label for this one is folded over. Long Island something Brussels sprouts. Okay, so we're going to be doing Brussels sprouts. These little seeds here. And we're going to be doing this series right from the beginning, from uh, planting these seeds. Sunflower uh, seeds, Oh, they look like little sunflower seeds. Yeah, they do. Um, these are black seeded Simpson lettuce. So we're going to be doing lettuce. Lettuce, as far as I'm aware, is kind of a cool weather plant, so we'll want to get these guys going pretty early. And that's why we're going to be starting them pretty soon. The series is going to start this weekend, this coming weekend. Uh, uh, we're going to start by sowing seeds in the soil, kind of uh, going from like gathering the soil, you know, where we're getting our potting soil from, and putting the whole thing together. So the live stream is really in the same way that the Project Homestead series covered ad nauseum, the entire process of building the house that I'm in right now. The gardening series is it's not going to skip over any of the boring stuff. We're going to do it all together during live stream. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we'll see how it runs. Okay, this is an interesting one. This is uh, borage. Uh, I had to look up what borage was. Uh, it is a Middle Eastern plant, and I guess it is uh, kind of a pot herb, or pot herb, depending on which part of the world you're in. Uh, so it's it's kind of wild edible. I think at some point it was believed to have some medicinal properties. I don't know whether those are actual or just placebos, but uh, we're going to learn about borage and be growing it. Uh, and we got here, this looks like something out of my spice cabinet. No, no it's not. <laughs> uh, Bloom, uh, Bloomsdale Long Standing Spinach. So we're going to be growing some spinach. That's another kind of cool weather thing. We, uh, spinach tends to bolt when it gets hot. Do we have anything else? That's it? Okay. So those are the varieties that we're going to be growing. Again, this weekend we're starting, so if you can uh, request your seed pack, uh, it'll get sent off to you, and then you can join us this weekend. I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't know exactly when all the live streams are going to be. In the past we did live streams related to the Project Homestead series, and they were always 
you know, first and third Friday of every month at exactly 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. But gardening is not always that way. Now, granted, we can start seeds pretty much whenever, and that's why I'm saying this weekend we're going to be doing uh, our seed starting. But when we're out in the garden, it's whenever things are happening. When things start to come up, we're going to be doing a live stream. There'll be a surprise pop-up live streams, you know, when there's weeds that need to be taken care of or there's weeds that maybe need to be eaten because we're going to be finding lots of wild edible weeds growing wild in the garden, and that's going to be part of the series as well. Um, so if you are a subscriber to this, uh, this channel, make sure that you also click the notif uh, notification button. There's a little bell down in the corner. Uh, you don't, if you subscribe, if you subscribe to a channel on YouTube, it doesn't mean that you uh, get a subscription to that channel. You'd think, with, <laughs> with being called subscribe, that you would uh, like get the channel's uh, you know postings sent out to you. That's not the case. You have to uh, subscribe, and then you have to click the notification bu button. And I think that you even have to do something beyond that at this point, <laughs> where you have to go into like settings and then say, and I would like to be notified about my notifications. So they keep making more and more layers. Um, so uh, I don't know. Google it, look, look it up on, on Google and see like all the steps you have to do. I mean, if you're watching the series 10 years from now, there are probably 30 steps that you have to take, like subscribe and then click notifications and then say you want to receive your notifications and then you have to super subscribe and then super notify. Who knows how it's going to go, but uh, tune in and do whatever you can to get notifications. I know YouTube doesn't tend to be uh, you know, fond of my channel. A lot of people who are long time subscribers thought that I disappeared because uh, notifications just stopped going out. So do what you can, you know, that's <laughs> beyond that. I can't help you more than that. It's just you know, YouTube has it in for my channel, I guess. So you got to do what you can in order to actually get the notifications so you'll know when the live streams are going to be happening. But I will say this, they're going to be happening randomly all throughout the summer. So that's it. If you want to get your own Praxis pack, be planting the exact same things right along with me. Down in the description below, there's the link. And I really would highly recommend you, you know, give them a donation to kind of compensate them. They're a charity, but, you know, they have expenses, they have costs, you know, the costs of these bags, the costs of the time, the cost of the postage to send this stuff out to everybody. So if you can possibly make a donation, please do so. And I'd recommend somewhere $20, $25, somewhere in there for, you know, what you're actually going to be getting. That's it. Thanks for watching and see you this weekend. This episode is brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community, both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.